In <clears throat> this lesson, we're going to take a look at some uh, derivatives of other functions. So the first one we'll look at is the derivative of the natural log. So remember, in um, exponential form, the base of the natural log is base e. So y equals e to the x. And if you put it in log form, it would be y equals ln x, where the base e is assumed. So we want to find the derivative of y equals ln to the x. So what I'm going to do is take base e of both sides. So instead of writing y equals ln x, we're going to write e to the y <coughs> equals e to the ln x. And remember that e to the ln x would equal x because we have a base of e here. So if this base and this base are the same, we could say that just has a value of x. So we'll write e to the y equals x. Uh, we want to differentiate both sides. Um, so on the left, the differentiation of e to the y would be e to the y stays the same times the derivative of y, whatever y may be, and the derivative of x is 1. So let's isolate for y prime. That would be 1 over e to the y. But we know that <coughs> e to the y equals x. So we can replace that with 1 over x. And that is the derivative of y equals ln x. So we know that y equals ln x, its derivative is y prime equals 1 over x. And then we can also um, look at y equals ln g of x. And that would equal 1 over g of x times the derivative of g over x. So if we have a question like y equals ln 5x, to find y prime, we take 1 over, well, g of x is 5x, so it would be 1 over 5x. And then you take the derivative of 5x, which is 5. So we could just reduce that to 1 over x. Just reduce the 5s. Uh, question 2, so y prime would be 1 over g of x. g of x is what's in the bracket. And then we'll take the derivative of g of x, which is 2x plus e to the x. And then we'll just simplify that. Not really much to do, so we'll just leave it as this. In question three, um, you can leave it as a quotient rule. I always prefer, if it's a pretty simple one, to change it to a product rule. That's just my preference, but you can do a quotient rule if you want. So the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, plus we would have ln x, and then the derivative of x to the negative 2 would be minus 2x to the negative 3. So let's just simplify this. Um, I have an x in the denominator here, so I'll move it to the numerator. So we'd have x to the negative 3 minus 2x to the negative 3 ln x. I'm just going to common factor out in x to the negative 3. And we would get that simplified. Okay, in this application, it wants us to find the slope of the tangent to this function at x equals 0. So there's more than one way to do this. The hard way is if you made it a chain rule. You could do the chain rule if you want, but I'm going to make it a little bit easier by using my log laws. And I'm going to separate this quotient into back to subtraction. And that just makes it a little bit easier when I'm finding that derivative. So we'll find y prime. We'll do ln x cubed plus 1. So that would be 1 over x cubed plus 1 times the derivative of x cubed plus 1, which would be 3x squared, minus 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 7 times the derivative of that denominator, which would be 2x plus 2. Um, I'm not going to bother simplifying it because it's just extra work because I just want to find the slope of the tangent. So I want to find the slope of the tangent at x equals 0. 
So it'd be 0 cubed plus 1 times 3 times 0 squared. So if you're just finding the slope, you can just sub in that number. There's no point in doing a whole bunch of extra work simplifying it because you're just going to sub in x equals 0 anyway. So this first group will be 0. And then I would have 1 minus over 7 times 2, so negative 2 over 7. OK, there are other derivatives. Um, in box D, they look at derivatives of exponential and log functions, such as log a to the x. So this would be where a would be any base, any number. Um, so let's put it in, let's change base formula. So I'm going to change log a to the x to, I'm going to change it to ln, ln x over ln a. So that's my change of base formula. I'm going to separate the ln a, let's just bring it out. And then we're going to find the derivative. Well, 1 over ln a is just a number, so that will just stay as ln a. And then we already know the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So y prime is going to equal 1 over ln a times x. So that is indicated here, or x ln a. Um, other exponential functions, I'm not going to go through the proof, but the other ones are y equals a to the x. Its derivative is a to the x, and then take ln of the base. Um, or we could have a to the power of g of x, where g is some other function. So we would take a to the g of x stays the same. Then you can take ln at the base and then the derivative of g of x. So for example, ln y equals log 2 to the x. y prime will be 1 over ln at the base, so ln 2 times x. Uh, question 2, y prime, so it's log base 5, so it's going to be 1 over ln 5. Okay, let's let's do that one a little bit easier. We'll do one, so it's um, one over um, the function g of x. It's getting a little mixed up with my a to the x. Okay, so it'd be one over g of x um, times the derivative of g of x, which will be three x squared minus four x. So I'll just put those together. 3x squared minus 4x over x cubed minus 2x squared plus 10. I will just leave it like that. Okay, the next one, um, I'm going to change log base 2. I'm going to change this to an exponential function, so we'll change that to a half. So we have the product rule here. So the Derivative of x to the power of 3 is 3x three squared. Um, and then we'll leave this the same. And then, actually before we do that, let's make it a little bit easier. I'm going to bring this one half down before I do the derivative. So before we do the derivative, it's a little bit easier if we bring this x, this one half down. And we'll write it as one half log base two. And that just makes it easier when we're finding the derivative. So any powers can come down before you find the derivative. Okay, so derivative of x to power three is three x squared. And then that will be x3, and then we'll take the derivative of this, so 1 half stays as it is. We're going to have uh, 1 over ln 2, because it's log base 2, so ln 2, times g of x, times the derivative of g of x, which is 2x. So let's tidy it up a bit. So twos will cancel. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
to me. And we have an x3 and an x, so x to the power of 4. Okay, we'll just leave this as is. Um, there is a common x squared plus 4, but that's the only thing that's common, so we'll just leave it. All right. Um, if we have an exponential equation with a different base, so such as y equals 2 to the x, the derivative rule is that we take, uh, we leave 2 to the x as it is, and then we take ln of the base 2. Nothing to do to simplify there. Um, if the exponential equation um, has a function f of x, or we'll call it g of x, as the exponent, then what we do is we leave the exponential equation as is. We take ln of the base, which would be ln 3, and then we take the derivative of g of x, which would be 2x. In question 6 here, we have the quotient rule, or you could change it to the product rule, it's up to you. So first thing I'll do is change 3 square root of 3 to the power x, we can change to an exponential power of x over 2, right? 1 half times x, so x over 2. And um, I think I will change x to a negative 2 just because I'll use the quadru product rule. But you can use the quotient rule if you want, it's up to you. Um, so the derivative of 3 to the power x over 2, so leave 3 to the power x over 2 the same, take ln of the base, and then take the derivative of x over 2, which would just be 1 half, plus, we'll leave this the same, and then we're going to take derivative of x to the negative 2, which would be negative 2x to the negative 3. So we'll just tidy it up a bit. I'm going to multiply, let's see, what can we do here? We can common factor. So they both have a 3 to the x over 2. Um, we'll take out an x to the negative 3. So in that first group, we'd have the 1 half left over and the ln to the 3. Oh, we'd also have an x. Let's put that first. So we have a 1 half, we took out x to the negative 3, we had x to the negative 2, so we'd have an x left over, and we would have the ln 3. And then in the second group, we just have a minus 2. So we're just common factoring out whatever we see that's common. Okay, in this question, it wants us to find the critical points. So in order to find the critical points, we need to find the derivative. So I'm going to move the 3x minus 1 to the top. Again, if you want to use quotient rule, you can do that as well. You just want to find the derivative, whatever you method you prefer. So y prime, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And then we'd have e to the x. We want the derivative of this, which is the chain rule. So negative 1 times 3x minus 1 to the negative 2 times the derivative of 3x minus 1, which is 3. So I'm just going to, in the second bracket, I'm going to multiply the negative 1 times the 3, put that at the front with the e to the x. Okay, so now I'm going to common factor. Uh, what's common? e to the x is common. 3x minus 1 to the negative 2 is common. In that first group, I'd have a 3x minus 1 left over. In the second group, I'd have a minus 3. Um, so leave the e to the x where it is. I'm going to put this 3x minus 1 to the negative 2 in the denominator. Make it a positive 2, and then I'll just simplify this bracket here, which would be 3x minus 4. Okay, so when we, so that's my derivative. When we find the critical numbers, we want to find where y prime equals 0, so that's the numerator. So either e to the x equals 0, well, that is an invalid answer because e to the x cannot equal 0. Uh, my other option is 3x minus 4 equals 0, so x would equal 4 over 3. So that's one critical number. And then we'll look at where prime 
y prime does not exist, which is the denominator. So 3x minus 1 squared equals 0, square root both sides, and then solve for x. And that will actually be a vertical asymptote. So those are my critical numbers at 4 thirds and 1 over 3. Okay, find the equation of the tangent to the curve at y equals x log x 10. In order to find the equation of the tangent, so we want y equals mx plus b, equation of the tangent line. Okay, so we need to find the derivative of y equals x log x. So this will be the slope. We want to find the slope of the tangent, so y prime. So the derivative of x is 1. And then we'd have log x, and then we'd have x times the derivative of log x. Well, remember that log x is log base 10. So that would be 1 over ln 10 times x. And we could probably reduce those x's. So y prime is log, log x plus 1 over ln 10. So we want that at x equals 10. So that would make it y prime is when x is 10, so that would be log 10 plus 1 over ln 10. And I'm just going to put these two together by finding a common denominator. Uh, this is over 1, so we'll change that to uh, ln Actually, let's make it a little bit easier by changing this to I'm going to change log x to ln instead, just because that way I automatically get a common denominator. So let's backtrack a little bit. So I'm going to change uh, this log x is base 10. So I could change that to the change of base formula because then I would have ln x over ln 10. So that way if I change log base 10x to ln x over ln 10 using my change of base formula, I now have a common denominator. So let's do that. Just makes it easier. Okay, then we'll put in x is 10, so our slope of our line would be ln 10 plus 1 over ln 10. So this is our slope. So it's going to be y equals ln 10 plus 1 ln 10 x plus b. So now we want to find the value of b, so we need a point that it passes through. So the point it's going to pass through is when x is 10. So y would be, uh, when x is 10, we'd have 10 log 10. Well, log 10, remember that 10 is the base. So log 10 of 10 is just 1. So the point it's going to pass through is 10, 10. So we'll put in 10 for y. We'll put in 10 for x. Let's move this up a little bit so we have some room here. And then we want to solve for b. So I'll have 10. I'll move this whole thing to the left side so I can isolate for b. That's an equals. Okay, what can we do with this? Well, we could factor out a common 10. So let's take that out. So we'd have 1 minus ln 10 plus 1 over ln 10. What can we do with this? Well, we could find a common denominator. So let's take the 1 and change it to ln 10 over ln 10 so that we can make these one term. So that would be uh, ln 10 minus ln 10, well that's 0, so that leaves me with a minus 1 over ln 10. 
or minus 10 over ln 10. So my equation of my tangent line is going to be 1. The slope was 1 plus ln 10 over ln 10. That was my slope, so that's x. And then I found my b to be minus 10 over ln 10. So that is the final answer. It's a little bit uh, a little bit tricky, but just follow through the process. The process is the same um, as we always have. Find the derivative to find the slope of the tangent and then use a point to plug in to find the value of b.